Hello, my independent workers. I just have a couple things I want to talk to you about, and then you may do your independent work. First of all, please make sure you are using the thicker paper, not the thin paper, because it's gonna hold up better when it gets wet. Secondly, clean your water. This water is getting a little dirty, but it will still clean my paintbrush. Once your water starts to get really dirty, make sure you dump it, rinse it, and get new cold water. Remember, always cold water. The other thing I wanna to talk to you about is your paint set. Make sure you are washing your brush in between each and every color so that you do not mix the colors in the palette. See how mine is staying pure? You want yours to stay pure too so that you have access to every color and that you don't just have a muddy palette. And definitely play with mixing colors, but mix colors on your lid or on a separate plate. You can mix medias. So you can use crayon first on your paper and then go over it with watercolor. You can also use the oil pastels. If you are one of the older students and you have a bag of oil pastels, you can use those first and then use your watercolors on top. You can also use Sharpie. You can use pencil. You can use any kind of pens that you have at home. You can use marker and then paint over it. So the sky's the limit. Think about what you'd like to create and go for it. When you're finished, make sure you clean up really well. Leave the watercolor paint set opened until it's dry. Put it up somewhere so that no cats are gonna walk across it or baby brothers or anybody else. And ask an adult, where should I store my artwork to let it dry safely? When you're finished, please take a picture and post it on Seesaw so that everyone can enjoy your wonderful artwork. Thank you and have fun.